Good morning, everyone. Today I want to talk about a topic that should be near and dear to anyone's heart if you're doing any sort of tuning at all on uh, vintage two-strokes in particular, uh, which is temperature gauges. The Vespas and Lambrettas obviously didn't come with a temperature gauge. Um, now I don't like to ride without one. And so there's, I'm going to talk about two different types. And they both are kind of the same on the head end, but either the under plug gauge or the in head gauge. And I think this is technically considered a, a water temperature sensor, but it's they're both good up to like 482 degrees Fahrenheit. So they work for our purposes. And the way that they fundamentally work is that got my cylinder head, under plug gauge sits into this goes in goes under the spark plug and uh, that holds it in place and it gives you the reading the threaded engage this this particular cylinder head this is off a of BGM 177 is drilled and tapped right here for it and uh, this is an M10 by 1.0 hole and the way it works is that this is going to screw in and it's going to make contact with the head and read from there. So this is the most common because it's the easiest. Uh, this will be faster and more accurate if you install it correctly. And so what I mean by that is that you need to be, have actual contact from your sender or your sensor to the head itself. Uh, but the other thing about it is that because this thing's radiating the heat out, this one is going to typically read hotter. And for comparison, the, the traditional standard is that on a, an underplug temperature gauge, you, sh you should start to worry if your temps start getting up over about 350 Fahrenheit. Um, I was running one like this in my Lambretta last weekend, uh, doing some touring, and at one point, I saw my temps get up to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, which by all measures should have been a massive seize, but it wasn't because it's drilled and tapped way down in. So that's something to be aware of as a kind of crucial difference between the two. And so what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna install both of these gauges into one of my scoots and we're gonna ride it around and we're gonna see the difference both in you know, what's both the responsiveness of the head-in versus the, the underplug, as well as the difference in actual temperature between the two, and see if I can get some useful data. So with uh, that in mind, let's go over, let's install these guys, and uh, I'll show you kind of what that looks like. It's not real exciting. You basically saw it here. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, we can go ride it around and see what we learn. So, take our cylinder shroud off to start. Mm, pretty rich. That might be worth taking a look at at some point, but at least we know it won't seize. First, I'm going to install this one. The way I do it is that I have a half inch drive 12 millimeter socket. I feed this through like so. And so then I can get it started. Just a little bit. I'll come back here with my socket and finish it up. This is is like a huge issue, and then just hand tight as plenty. Um, on the BGM heads like this, because you've got a you know a lot of room to work, but like uh, some of them, they are not nearly as roomy, and you're going to have to try a little harder. You can bend this. I feel like it's hard on its life, so I try and avoid that. Uh, I think the official instructions say to remove the crush washer on your spark plug. I'm gonna not take that advice. Alright, 
That's it. ultimately learned from this experiment? Well, I definitely validated uh, kind of the conventional wisdom and my existing assumptions, which are that the uh, in, in head sensor reads hotter and also responds much more quickly than the underplug sensor. And I saw this where, you know, the differences could be pretty significant. I didn't even get into full heat soak. Uh, but uh, if you, you look, I had the, the one wide open throttle section section there from seven and a half to about nine minutes and the the in plug took off the uh the under under plug was still just kind of starting to respond and then uh you you saw it also immediately upon starting the bike when it was just idling and warming up and so i think that there's uh you know there's a lot of value in a chg if it's the in head Honestly, I mean, you think about it. If you have something go wrong on the motor, it's going to cause it to overheat and seize. Then that's going to happen way before that plug sensor would ever catch up to it. I think that the in-head sensor probably reads fast enough it might save you from a you know sudden unexpected change, uh, but definitely not the underplug. Anyway, hope you all found this useful, and uh, I know that I definitely you know, feel validated in my decision to go through the extra pain and effort of drilling and tapping cylinder heads in order to get that rapid response. I'd love to hear what other people think down in the comments. Do you run underplug? Do you run in head? Uh, do you just not worry about your temperature and hope it doesn't seize? Let me know. Let Mr. Travis Barker here know. He worries a lot about these things, as you can probably tell. Bye, everyone.